Welcome to this episode of Family Practice. I'm Dr. Jeff Fox. Are your hands tingling? You might have carpal tunnel and we have an orthopedic specialist who can help. Going to the doctor's office also can be difficult, but we've got tips to make that visit easier. And are you struggling to pay some hospital bills? We have information that could help. And driving your neighbor, ITN of the Bluegrass is here with transportation help. My first guest is Dr. Victor Morrow and with Bluegrass Orthopedics. And I mentioned hands tingling, carpal tunnel. What are some, what is carpal tunnel and what are some symptoms? Yeah, great question. So simply carpal tunnel is compression of one of the nerves that supplies sensation and some motor function to your hand. It's called the median nerve. It's right in the middle of your wrist and there's a tight ligament that can squeeze on that over time and cause that tingling that you're talking about. Who's at risk for that? Typically, we see it in individuals as they you know, get north of 40, uh, typically people in their 40s and 50s, men and women, although women are more likely to get it than men. Uh, and, and in that age group, people start complaining about tingling in their fingers, specifically the thumb, index, middle finger, and then part of the ring finger. Are there certain occupations or diseases that tend to be uh, carpal tunnel risk? Yeah, it can be associated with diabetes and obesity. Um, pregnant women are at risk of transient carpal tunnel or carpal tunnel while they're pregnant. Um, and then we often hear from people that have heavy labor positions, people that do repetitive exercises with their hands, that, uh, that irritates their, their hands and causes that numbness and tingling. And certainly some positions are, are more, uh, more likely to cause those symptoms. Is it a clinical diagnosis or do you have to do a test or an x-ray or something to know that you have carpal tunnel? It's a little bit of both. I mean, it's carpal tunnel syndrome, so by definition, it's a, it's a collection of signs and symptoms. So, you know, pa patients complain about numbness and tingling. Uh, they have certain motor uh, 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 function that we can see uh, during the uh, during the exam that can clue us in. Uh, we can get a nerve conduction study and in my practice I use ultrasound a lot so I can actually painlessly put an ultrasound probe on your wrist and measure the size of your nerve which can be diagnostic for carpal tunnel. So if you have carpal tunnel you can fix it surgically, but short of that, is there anything you can do? There's a few things. Um, you know, the best recommendations are really for splinting and injections, uh, and that's from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons data. Uh, splinting uh, requires you to wear a night splint pretty much all the time at night, uh, and then it takes the pressure off the nerve and decreases your day symptoms. There's strong evidence to support that. Injections, there's also strong evidence in support of it, but they're temporary and they're unpredictable, um, and uh, they're good for the diagnosis, in my opinion. Surgery is probably the best answer for carpal tunnel if it becomes bothersome. Um, the, there's strong evidence to support that with surgery, uh, the outcomes longer term, six and 12 months and beyond, are better than non-operative treatment. And, not, and if you don't fix it, you can have some function loss? Absolutely. So the numbness and tingling can get worse, uh, and that can be disruptive. A lot of people can deal with that. Uh, really, the problem uh, is with pain. So night pain, that can become very disruptive. It can wake you up at night. It can disrupt your sleep. Uh, that can be tied into other problems. You know, waking up in the middle of the night because your hands hurt. Uh, you, know, you don't go into REM cycles. You don't feel rested. Uh, it, it's just not a good situation that you want to be in. Beyond that, dexterity problems uh, can, can manifest. So you can have trouble with fine motor skills. And really, if you ignore it long enough, the, the muscle in your thumb that, that helps you grip and use that thumb, uh, that muscle can atrophy, and, and that doesn't come back. So to prevent all that from happening, if you've tried everything else, you can you could surgically fix that with a... I, it's a lot simpler than it used to be. It's a lot simpler than it used to be. And in my practice, I use minimally invasive and ultra minimally invasive techniques to release the, the carpal tunnel. You know, previously it was a relatively large incision on the palm of the hand that would get in the way of everyday activities. Sometimes you'd have to be splinted. You'd have to be out of work and activities for weeks. Uh, now I use techniques where they can be done in an outpatient setting. A lot of times they can be done in the office under local anesthesia. Uh, most of my patients receive approximately a four millimeter incision in their wrist, not in their hand. Uh, it's closed with a sterile strip or a, or a band-aid, uh, no stitches involved, um, no narcotics, uh, and I let patients get back to activities the same day. Most of my patients are back to work within a day or two, uh, leisure activities in the same time frame. And this is all outpatient Absolutely. and results are as good as the big incision. Yeah, the results are outstanding. Um, most of my patients have uh, relief of their night pain uh, that night, so I'll, I'll call them typically about two days later and they say, you know, my night pain's gone. Their numbness and tingling uh, gets uh, significantly better uh, based on how severe their disease was, of course. Um, most patients will say that it completely resolves within you know, a day or two after surgery, sometimes immediately. Uh, and then the nerve can, can continue to recover for months or up to a year after surgery. Um, and I don't have any real activity restrictions for my patients. They go back to doing activities as tolerated, and most of them just use some anti-inflammatories afterwards. That's great information. We appreciate you coming in. Appreciate yeah. the work you do. Thanks very much. 
If you have numbness and tingling, it might be carpal tunnel. See your doctor. We'll be right back.